And I said, let me fuck with him a little bit. Right. I said, mm, you sure smell good for a fine ass white man. He said, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he said, what? He said, oh. <laughs> I said, yeah, baby, you smell good, daddy. Where you? He said, ah. I just, just, I just got soap on. <laughs> I said, I don't know, but that smells, that looks so smell good as fuck. I pulled him, I said, what you doing tonight? <laughs> you doing? <laughs> I said, give me your number. So he had to go back into Harrisonville. So one of your clan members, we banged. <laughs> Harrisonville. <laughs> oh, we banged. <laughs> and what happened was. Yeah, but how was that Cracker Barrel? Oh, it was. Dil- so wait, let me tell you how we got to it. So I texted him. He's like, show me your, it was my tits. He's like, Bab, show me your tits, Bab. <laughs> I sent you somebody else's titties. I ain't sending my titties. I just... He got the lady, uh, her name is Candy. Yeah. Shout out to the porn star Candy. I used your titties. I took Candy's titties off Pornhub okay. and photoshopped them on my body. Shout out to Adobe Photoshop. They don't sponsor this podcast, but. They need when, to now. You need, guess what? You got to, honey, I took. Miss Candace titties and put it in the Adobe Photoshop. And he's like, oh my God, huh? Yeah, I got a crackle barrel. Yeah, I got a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm> <laughs> He came all the way into Little Rock. And we sat there like the most happiest interracial couple. And you want to know what's really funny? He had his shorts on with his Johnny Red. Huh, you are, you are sausage and gravy biscuits. Huh? <laughs> Everything was like jerking. I'm like, Hell yeah, I want some. He bought me a rocking chair, and I got apple butter, and I got kerosene oil. I took full advantage. <laughs> kerosene. I went and took full advantage. <laughs> uh, Crackle Bell. I forgot they sold that at Cracker Bell. Yeah, in the little hell. shop in the and front. I was like, how does it feel to be a clan? But I don't want to talk about that, hun. I want to talk about me and you. <laughs> and I was like, well, what you want to talk about? So it was an interesting conversation. I said, right. Well, what, hun, what makes you think? Well, man, she thinks I'm a clansman. I said, you got the little clansman thing. Right. But I said, your whole little group of friends here. I said, what y'all is? I said, I mean, no, no harm. I said, what y'all doing a pile up at a hotel? You know, don't y'all go there. I'm old school. Yo, pile up. I thought they was doing some freaky shit at the, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were piling up like tequila. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I thought it was some tequila going on. And he's like, yeah, we're just having our little annual meet. And I said, do your, do your friends know about our interracial love? <laughs> He's like, huh, let's all talk about that. Let's just, don't spoil the moment, babe. Don't spoil the fucking moment. Excuse me. Don't spoil the fucking moment. So I was rubbing his leg and yeah, you were. people, of course, I wanted him to experience this caramel delight that interracial love counts. <laughs> love lift us up. And he played it. No, he rented a little Mustang and he played that song in the Mustang. And I held his hand while I sweat. He was a sweaty thing. Yeah, you were. Babe. Better. He was nervous as fuck. Yes, he was. <laughs> He's in Arkansas and I, with a black woman. Yeah, yeah he was. And I said, Horny as shit. Yeah, he was. And guess what? We were playing ACDC. Yeah, you were. We also played. We're so- on a highway to hell. And then he fucking did a 360 <laughs> in the Crackle Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Best fucking time of my life. Oh. Babe, I didn't know where I swear to God. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to I'm going to share my text message just next podcast. Oh, my God. Would please like do. That? Just okay. screenshot that shit and send it to I me. I will. And he's like, I said, send me a picture of your of your, of your your Crackle Barrel stick. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> a real car guy. And I told him, send me a picture. So I'll, there's a picture of him laid out yeah. with his shotgun on his mattress. That's that's what the boy sent. And let me tell you something. These little hands did black justice in that Mustang. <laughs> Black Justice. <laughs> and he was tired and he was sweating in his chest. And I rubbed his chest and Baby, I wanna go to sleep. And he, he dropped me off back in Northwest Little Rock and we just text from them. There you go. So them hands did some justice. Babe, I can't all stop thinking about your ass. <laughs> I said black power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, That's hilarious. So, baby, you have the smoothest fucking ass, man. Smoothest ass. Oh, Shout my. out to my clansman love. That's, That's my. great. So, d- d- you That's know hilarious. Love has no color when it calls. You understand me? <laughs> love when has love no comes to calling, you pay the fee, the fee for me. <laughs> Was I prostitute? Maybe. 
Maybe. Maybe. Did or I maybe a- I'm just a big fan of Cracker Barrel. Let me tell you something. He paid for my ticket back home, and I had got the exclusive insurance. Oh, wow. So what happened was Jeez. I was flying back out of Little Rock. Yeah. Shout out to Zachy, because I don't want to tell the surprise yet. Zachy called me on Labor Day. Okay. Shout out to Apex Zachy. And he was like, you need to come back in L.A. We're going to do some things, like whatever, right? So what happened was, I was like, babe, I need to get back to L.A. And he's like, can you send me some feet pics? So I went and found uh, Naomi Campbell's feet. Naomi Campbell. <laughs> I photoshopped them on my body. He said, babe, what? You, what's wrong with your feet? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Naomi Campbell. I said, babe. Being out there on that plane, he said, "We gotta get those feet, 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 feet. 